So in today's webinar, we're going to be talking about Google Photo Scan, which converts photo prints into digital prints. Um, so let's get into it. So for what's going to be covered in this webinar is uh, an intro to Google Photo Scan, how to use Photo Scan, any alternative options for this Photo Scan, and a live demonstration, a live demo for it. So some history about the digital scanning. Uh, the first scanner developed for computer use was a drum scanner. It was built in 1957 at the U.S. National Bureau of Standards. It was developed with the help of a team led by Russell A. Kirch. The first image scan was a five centimeter square photo of Kirch's three month old son, Walden. So that's the left. So why would anyone convert to digital documents, you ask? Converting a printed picture or document to a digital copy has numerous benefits, such as less paper clutter, easy storage, meaning you won't lose any of your documents, files that could be easily shared with others through you know, email, and higher quality than regular JPEG or PNG image files. However, there are some disadvantages that comes to digital scanning such as that files may take up a lot of memory space and you know that costs money to have some storage on the device. Some images may lose quality in the scanning or compressing process, which is kind of a risk when you're doing any scanning of any kind digitally. Uh, high quality scanners can be expensive, so you know there is that money issue and it may take a long time to scan multiple documents. Um, could take you know several hours. Possibly at most, I would assume. However, we are going to talk about one specific um, specific digital scanning device. Um, so, what is Google Photo Scan? Google Photo Scan is a free Google Photos companion app that lets users scan and digitize print photos on the fly. On the fly. Not only can PhotoScan capture print photos in digital form, but it can also automatically correct edges, adjust perspective, and remove glare and reflections. It is available for iOS or Android on the Google Play Store or on the App Store, um, depending on which uh, platform you are using. It may require in-app purchases to unlock premium features, um, so any memberships that can range um, from three to five dollars per month. How to use Google Photo Scan? Um, um, so, how to download Photo Scan? Um, so, you would first open the App Store or Play Store, as mentioned previously, and type in Google Scan in the search bar, and then click on Photo Scan by Google Photos, which is the um, should be having a white background with baby blue box in the middle, like a dark blue box at the top right, with a white circle there too. And you just click get or install. It should be uh, free of charge, no no fees. Uh, so that is how you download the this one app. Now, once you have this app downloaded, you can start scanning photos. So all you just have to do is launch the photo scan app. A short video will pop up illustrating how to scan the photos. Since you're new to the app, you would select start scanning to walk through the process. Then you select allow to grant permission for photo scan to take a record video and to access photos, media and other files on your device. Um, so you start scanning, you would allow, and you just get it to scan. Um, in addition to that, to start scanning, press the white circular uh, shovel button to take a picture of a physical photo or document. Then move your camera over to the white dots to get a glare-free picture. Uh, 
once the scan is complete, the green check mark appears on the screen to let you know that the scan has been captured um, and that everything in that process is finished. Then you have to click rotate to rotate the picture accordingly to your preferences if necessary. You don't have to rotate. You can also edit or crop the photo like you can in the Photos app. You know, crop, you know, like hide any um, thing you don't want in the photo or just like kind of if it's a picture you're taking on the table, you just crop out the, the area of the table so that the picture is only seen in that photo. Then you click the share button to upload the file to a storage space for social media. Okay. Once you've captured and adjusted your picture, it will be automatically stored in your device's storage space or on Google Photos. Um, please remember that all images stored on Google Photos count towards your 15 gigabyte free Google storage allotment. To see your scanned pictures, go to Google Photos app on your smartphone or tablet or the website on your computer, um, which is this link here, or click here to watch a full webinar on how to use Google Photos. Some tips for scanning photos would be to click the lightning button to turn off the flash, which is, you know, a flash when once you press the, once you press Click the camera to take a photo. You could turn that on or off. Click the eraser looking tool to turn glare enhancer on or off, which would improve the quality of your picture. On scanning photos, we should place photos on a contrasting background to ensure that the images is captured correctly. If you're scanning on a rug, place a sheet of white paper in between the photos and the rug as the texture can cause inaccuracies. Use a well-lighted area to capture scans and don't worry about glare. Photos can remove glare during the processing. So there are premium features to Google Photo Scan. However, um, even though you know, Google Photo Scan is free, but these, feature, these features require in-app purchases. Um, a few of these features include combining or editing pictures, converting to different file formats, for example, a PDF, JPEG, PNG, and things like that. HD resolution image quality, extra cloud space for documents, watermark removal, and e-signature, uh, which would, those are just some premium features for photos again. Um, however, Google Photo Scan is not the only option. There are alternatives such as Cam Scanner, Adobe Scan, Simple Scan, and Microsoft Lens. There are also alternative devices you could use. Um, you know, if you want, you know, a photo scanner more professional beyond just an app, you could purchase. It. Flatbed scanner or multifunctional printer, use wirelessly over Wi Fi or connected to a laptop or computer via cable. You can also use scanners to preserve digital copies of important documents like birth certificates, ID, a passport, and documents such as those. Um, so, those devices are Canon CanoScan, Fast Photo Wireless High Speed Photo Scanning System and uh, the Brother printer, uh, MFC, uh, that model. Um, so paying for personal service. Many places offer to digitize your photos for a fee. Simply bring or send in your albums and they'll do the work for you. Um, so some places will be Costco, Staples, scanmyphotos.com, or dig my pits. So it could be at a store or a website to do that service for you. And now we have reached the final portion of this webinar, um, which is the live demo. Um, All right, yeah. So uh, I'm going to share the screen of my phone. And 
show you how the app works. So uh, let me just close this. All right, so right now this is just a random uh, math note that I made or homework page. So uh, if I wanted to scan this or send it somewhere or do something with it, uh, usually I would press the um, button in the middle, which is the same as the camera app button or honestly any uh, uh, picture taking app. So you'd usually see a button in the middle, which is this big circle one that you can see or the white one, but has a blue outline. And what you do is you sort of like position your photo within the frame, which is what it asks you to do. And then once you click it, it'll take a couple seconds, but then it'll ask you to hover over these four white dots. So I kind of find this part fun, even though it takes a bit more time, it's definitely worth it since it removes the glare and it makes your photo very, very clear. So after you remove all four dots or you hover your camera over all four dots of your document, it'll sort of flash a green and it'll have a check mark and your photo will be saved. So this is my photo and sometimes I think, yeah, over here when I took the photo earlier, it was uh, 180 degrees upside down. So I didn't want that. So I just have to click rotate twice or rotate once. It depends how you want to align your photo and it'll basically work just like that. Like I'm pretty sure this one started like this, but I don't want it like that. So I just hit the rotate button, which you see on your bottom left and that should uh, rotate your phone. And then you can also delete it. If you don't like this picture, I wanna delete, I wanna delete, delete. And you know, maybe I like this one. So I'll, so I'll keep this one and I'll send it to whoever I want to. And I was also asked, I was also asked uh, what the magic wand does, which is right over here. It looks like little sparkling clouds. So what this does is it basically removes or enables the glare. So uh, if you don't want your glare, you'd have to keep it on. And if you do want glare for some odd reason, then you'd have to disable that option because what this does is it basically removes any glare or reflectiveness from your screen or blur. And, and then I was asked what the button to the left does. It's basically sort of like a flash key. Uh, it sort of tells you, you know, when you take your photo, it's going to shine bright for a second. So if you're like, I don't know, taking a picture in a dark room, maybe you don't have enough light or you're outside and you want to take a picture of something, but it's like 9, 10 p.m. So you just enable that option. Make sure the lightning is showing without a cross, because usually what a cross means is it's sort of like a prohibited or like a not uh, something that's functioning or working. So. Right now, when I disable this, you'll see a cross over it. And then I, okay, yeah, so now it appeared the cross. And then you can do the same with the magic wand, disable it, enable it. And then you basically take your photo, whether you want the flash or not. So if I have flash on, it'll basically sort of show a light. And then it'll ask the same things. It'll ask you to hover over the four white circles. And that's exactly what I'll do. Um, it's sort of like a little game for me. So I kind of like this part. And then once you're done, your scan is basically complete. And then it just flashes green, shows a check mark and says, uh, your, fo your photo has been saved or your document has been saved. And then I can just go back, look at it, adjust the corners and I can also share it. So if I want to share it, uh, via Android beam, uh, Facebook, Bluetooth. So uh, you'd basically have a select amount of options uh, of how you'd want uh, the photo to be shared. If you want to email it to someone, if you want to share it uh, Bluetooth wirelessly with someone. Uh, so whatever you want to do with this document or phone, you'll be able to do that with the um, share button. And since I took this photo, I don't need to send it to Google Photos. Once I, once I open the Google Photos app, it'll automatically uh, appear there. So I just go to Google Photos and then I'll just see my most recent pictures and this should be there. And yeah, I think that pretty much sums up uh, the live demo of this app.